Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a really exciting one. Um, it's exciting for me anyway. This is probably the shoe that I've been most hyped about um, ever since I kind of got really excited about shoes. So I have here the Nike Zoom X Street Fly in the prototype colorway. So I have had a look. Um, I haven't tried them on yet. Um, we're going to have a little talk about the specs of the shoe, my first impressions of the shoe, the weight, um, stack height, how they feel on foot, um, and then see if I can give you my first impressions against how they compare to the next percent 2, the Takumi Sen 8 from Adidas, um, and we'll see, and we'll go from there basically. So, um, let's get into this. So guys, I'm going to open the box and we're going to take these bad boys out. So let's put one there. And then we're going to get rid of the box. Don't need the box right now. So here is the shoe and what a good looking shoe it is. Um, I'm sure you guys can agree. Off initial impressions, it looks quite wide. Um, like there's quite a lot of, of material on this upper, so you can see, look here, it's like starting to, to bend out a little bit. Um, we'll see how it feels when we get it on. To start off with, we're going to talk about the stack height. So I couldn't find the information on the Nike website about the stack height, so I thought, why don't we get a ruler? So I got a ruler, and we're going to be measuring the stack height right here. So on the heel of the foot, is 30 mil so three centimeters on the back of the shoe and then the front of the shoe I'm not sure not really sure which part of the front of the shoe you're meant to take the the uh the four foot kind of measurement from i'm guessing kind of like the middle so kind of about there just because if you see it's really narrow here and then really thick here so i'm going to take it from about the middle um and if i'm wrong let me know down in the comments below so it was 30 mil on the heel and on the four foot it's about 24 mil, so it's about a 6 mil drop, similar to that of the next percent, I believe. So this is a men's uh, UK size 9. Um, so I've got my scales here. We're going to take the cardboard out and give them a, give them away. And then we're going to compare them to the weight of um, some of the other super shoes that I've got. So let's get into this. So guys, we are going to start off with the Nike Street Fly, or should we start with... No, nah, let's start with a different shoe. We're going to leave them till last. So let's start with the Takumi Sen 8s from Adidas. I've got that here. Um, so obviously there might be a couple grams down to, like there's a little bit of mud in them. Um, but overall, they should be pretty much the same. They're completely 100% dry. So let's give them away. That is 194 grams for the Adidas Takumi Sen 8. Um, that is with no cardboard in, and these are all size UK 9. So... Um, Obviously, they might slightly different length, but they are the same, technically the same shoe size. So 194 grams for the Takumi Sen 8. Let me grab my next percent twos. So let's weigh the Nike Zoom X Vaporfly next percent twos. Bit more of a mouthful, that one. So that comes in at 208 grams. So that is more um, heavy than the Takumi Sen 8. It's what you kind of expect. This is more of your half marathon marathon shoe um, on paper, whereas the Takumi Sen 8 is more of their 5k 10k shoe um, One final one, they're probably not a great comparison But we're going to compare the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent to the Street Fly So let me go get those So guys, I have the Alpha Fly Next Percent here Same again with all these shoes They might have um, kind of gained a little bit of weight Like for example, this one's got a tiny little stone stuck in the, in the shoe um, But it's not going to affect the weight overall uh, massively so let's weigh this one. I'm expecting this to be the heaviest. Yeah, that's 234 grams. So we've got 234, 208, I believe, if my memory serves me correctly. And then 194 for the Takumi Sin 8s. So let's weigh the Nike Street Flies. Check my hands are clean. Don't want to be getting any mud on them just yet. So take the cardboard out just to make sure that they are at their absolute lightest. What do we reckon? I'm going to go about... They feel ridiculously light. There's absolutely nothing to them. 
170. Oh, I was a bit off. They're 183, 182, 182 grams. So it's about a 12 gram difference between um, those and the Tsukumi Sen 8s. I don't know if it's where the weight is distributed in the shoe differently, but it does, you can feel it. It's, it's odd. I didn't think you'd be able to feel kind of 12 grams in a shoe. Yeah, definitely. These are ridiculously light. But anyway, I'm going to pop some shoes on and we'll see how they feel as my first kind of impression with them on my feet. One quick observation I would just like to add is the outsole. This kind of rubbery bit here doesn't feel like it's the grippiest. It might perform well when you're actually outside, but off initial reaction, it feels kind of a bit, a bit slippy. Um, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Right. Let's pop these bad boys onto my feet. We'll start with the right foot. I've got nice clean socks on. Um, obviously, I will show you guys um, what they look like on the foot. Initial reaction, it's so comfy. Let's tie them up. Of initial reaction, I only had to tie them once and they're comfy. Whereas normally with the my next percent twos, my Takumi Sen eights, I have to relace them at least three or four times to get them to a nice lockdown. These, first time, and they fit immaculately. A size nine, I love a, a half a, a thumb width in my shoe, regardless of the distance, I don't go up or down for marathons, that's just my personal experience. Um, we're gonna chuck this left one on as well. So guys, you can now see them on my feet. I'm gonna try and get them without the shadow. But I have to say, they are a lovely looking shoe. On the side. They are the most comfortable pair of shoes I've worn in a very, very long time. I feel like they just kind of fit your foot perfectly. It's, it's lovely. This feels very similar to kind of that of the, the Invincible. Very, very soft and squidgy. Forefoot toughens up a little bit. And yeah, there is a midfoot shank, I believe. I think it's about about there. Um, so it isn't full length carbon plated, but they have put a midfoot shank in. I'm not sure if that's made of carbon or what, but very soft. I'm not going to go out running today in them because I have already done my my long run. But yes, initial reaction is they are super super comfortable. So guys, now we're going to be talking about um, a little bit about the information that Nike put on their website about. This super shoe, um, obviously, if you want it in a little bit more detail, um, just head over to their website. So I've got my laptop here. I'm just going to be reading um, a little bit, like skimming some of the key information off for you. So like I've put, our lightest racing shoe, the Nike Zoom X Street Fly, is all about the speed you need to take on the competition in a mile, 5k or 10k race. Low profile with sleek details, it feels like it disappears on your foot to help you better connect with the road on the way to your personal best. Now that is music to my ears, because uh, for those of you who don't know, I've got the podium under the lights 5k coming up at Battersea Park, February 11th. Um, I don't know what time in the day it is yet. So Battersea Park, everyone knows it's a really quick course and that is going to be my first ever, well, I guess every 5k you do is a sub attempt, but it's going to be my first proper sub 15 attempt. Um, and I will be wearing this shoe, um, hopefully. Uh, my plan is to wear this for one workout before. I don't want to wear it for too many workouts because I've got this kind of um, kind of this superstition with shoes that they have their best mileage is kind of the, I'd say kind of like between the 30 and 50K um, and I don't really want to be like wearing them out too quickly because these are like, these are expensive. Um, like shoes, these shoes aren't cheap. So they were 134 pounds and 99 pence, which uh, 95 pence, sorry, um, and like make it five pence cheaper for some reason. Um, so that obviously does make them 35. No, the Takumi Sen's about 180, weren't they? So that makes them 45 pounds cheaper than the Takumi Sen 8s. I haven't felt what these feel like um, out on a run yet, so I can't give um, a valid opinion. But if I'm honest, they don't feel like a racer. Like the the soft, like the softness of the of the Zoom X foam. Um, and the grip just, the grip isn't exciting me, if I'm honest. But there's also, at the same time, it's got that super race feeling about it because it's so ridiculously light. And white shoes, who can't, who doesn't get excited about white shoes? 
Um, oh boy, am I excited to try these. Right, so they go on to say, low and nimble. Zoom X in the missile provides the ultimate lightweight responsiveness. The foam stack height offers lower than the Vaporfly, saving weight and giving you a more aggressive feel. It results in shoes so light it feels like it disappears on your foot whilst giving you the responsive protection of Zoom X foam, helping you reach your fastest pace throughout the twists and turns of a road race. So Battersea Park hasn't got too many twists and turns as far as I'm aware. It's pretty um, kind of shallow corners, if, if, if you like, a bit like a track. Um, so I won't have to worry about the, the twists and turns so much, but I do like the idea of being closer to the ground, a bit more of a ground contact feel, because I do like that. Um, next thing they're going to say is supportive and sleek. An ultra thin knit upper is light in weight while still providing the support you need for racing. Extra reinforcement in the forefoot gives you security. The updated sleek lacing system is laterally offset with a notched tongue to help relieve pressure on the top of the foot. So I don't know if that's one of the reasons why it felt so comfortable, but I tell you what, these lacing, uh, these laces are 100 times better than the ones in the Takumi Sin 8. These have that kind of that bit of elasticity to them. So when you tighten them and loosen them, um, there's a bit of give in the lace. The Takumi Sen 8s, they're like a horrible material that kind of cuts into your foot. I didn't, I do not like the laces on the Takumi Sen 8s at all. So I can tell you for one thing for certain, if I do prefer the Takumi Sen 8s, I'll be taking these laces out. Um, I can tell you that for, for definite. So yeah, I think they've absolutely killed it with the laces. The the uh, the next percent two laces with the little the nodules on, I think they're fine. They do their job. Um, nothing really bad to say about them. But these are these are what I like as a lace. Um, I don't know if you can see really. They're pretty standard. It's just a like a really nice light material. Um, almost feels like cheap to a to a certain point. But that's what I like in in my laces. It has got quite a lot of upper padding, especially around the top of the foot. Um, and that just that just added to a, a really comfy comfy feel. So yeah, I am super excited to feel these um, on the road. I do four foot strike, so that is going to be primarily onto the, the black material, um, and that is where I'm assuming they've put the most grippy rubber. Although it doesn't feel much different from back to front. But yes, guys, that is going to be today's video. Um, I don't really know what else to add. I'm really excited to. To try them out and these have not disappointed in person if i'm honest the only thing that worries me is the grip um but you never know it's one of those that maybe after a couple uses it kind of gets rid of that that outer plasticky layer and then you've got this really grippy um kind of rubber underneath so wow super excited to try these so thank you for tuning in today's video guys i hope you have enjoyed um, and if you do have any questions about this shoe please drop me down some comments in the description and i'm happy to answer them and i'm sure i'll be doing some um running shoe battles at some point between i think that the main one that everyone is going to be asking is the takumi zen 8 how they compare being as they are both 5 and 10k shoes but also how they compare against the next percent 2 which is my current favorite racing shoe and if i didn't have these that's what i would be wearing for my 5k attempt so Thanks for tuning in, guys. Please like, subscribe. It's free for you, and it means a lot to me. Please like, uh, please like, please share with your running buddies. I should really get better at saying that. But yes, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.